Greetings everybody, it's Thunder again. Today I want to talk about relationships, so I want to get right to it because it's a long, long topic. And So we'll start off with the definition, definition, the dictionary definition of relationships, which is a connection of any means, any way, connecting with somebody else, a relationship with, say, a person, a place, a government, a religion, could be any of those things. And there's different kinds of relationships. There's a romantic and then there's just friendships as far as talking about people. And so let's talk about a romantic relationship first right off the bat here because that's the most common type of relationship uh, that people might be having problems with right now because of this what I talked about before with this situation we have in the world of chaos or a mass consciousness shift that type of thing and I'm finding a lot of people are having problems with relationships probably have been since the beginning of time so first thing I, that I want to say about a personal relationship to me that's somebody that you walk the road with the, the road of life with and that you're potentially hooked up with for the rest of your life so in that kind of situation you want to make sure that in my opinion and this is just my opinion thoughts for consideration you should start from the spiritual and work your way on down to the physical now I know that a lot of people do just the opposite they start with the physical and hope that it'll work out good luck sometimes that happens sometimes it doesn't uh... you're lucky if it does most people will stay together at all costs because of children or whatever after that but to me that's not a blissful relationship so work from the spiritual on down and make sure you have some type of thing in common with that i mean you know if if you're somebody that's considered a pagan or which is actually not a bad word it just means somebody that is more nature oriented as far as realization of god anyway somebody that is a pagan hooking up with a christian it ain't gonna work or it probably won't work because you're going to be at odds with one another and there's always going to be that one person trying to convert the other one into their way of thinking so it would be a good idea in a relationship is you know that you got if it's going to be a romantic relationship a, a a relationship where you're it's your your partner your helpmate in life then you might want to get that area straightened out first make sure you're compatible on that level so I'm basically myself I'm a free spirit and another thing that you should take into account is you know like being a free spirit means that you are not manipulated in any way shape or form okay and I don't think that there should be manipulation in any kind of relationship no manipulation it should be out front truthful and that's another thing truthful you know trust and love of course and true love is a combination of all these things so being a free spirit means you're not going to be manipulated by any kind of emotional display or drama or any of that type of thing blackmail with children whatever it goes on and on and on money money's a big one money shouldn't enter into the picture at all not if you it has no bearing on it at all other than the fact that you survive with it <laughs> but if you marry somebody with some money and then they lose it does that mean you don't love them anymore no so that that has no bearing on it and then there's age age to me has no bearing on the situation you can be a older guy with a younger woman or you can be an older woman with a younger guy it doesn't matter 
it just matters in this culture as far as that goes. I mean, in other cultures, it's just a accepted thing, you know? So you have all these little variables in relationships. But the most important thing to remember is that you have to have trust and love. And you have to be on the same kind of spiritual wavelength, so to speak. Now, if you're just having a relationship with somebody, say, as a friend, and you don't agree, you know, on, you have different forms of spirituality, you don't bother them about it, and they don't bother you about it. You accept each other for what you are. That's a little harder in a personal relationship, because you're living together all the time, and you're working towards building your consciousness. And so if you're in a you know, I'm a spiritual person and so I'm always concerned about raising my consciousness and not being stuck in any kind of dogmatic belief system. So, you, you know, in that respect, I'm not going to look for somebody that is mired down in some type of belief system, you know, that is going to limit them and limit raising their consciousness, you know. Now, with a friend or an acquaintance or whatever, you can talk to them, you can have an agreement to talk about your spiritual viewpoints uh, without, you know, with acceptance of that other person's view, or you can agree not to talk about it at all, but just to be what we are. We're all one, we're all brothers and sisters on this planet. And so, you accept that person for what they are. Now, with governments, <laughs> that's a one-way street. I mean, they don't, they, you will do, you know, basically, they say they accept you for what you are, but don't buy it. They don't. Our government here, supposedly, is built on Judeo-Christian ethics and and then sometimes you wonder about that, you know, you wonder what it's really built on. It's probably built on financial ethics more than anything. I don't think they they give lip service to their spirituality, but they don't really practice it. So the relationship with the state or the relationship with a religion is, that kind of rules out the free spirit thing. I mean, if you want to subject yourself to... Uh, <laughs> being in a slave or in bondage, well, go for it. That's not my bag. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is jealousy. Man, I can't tell you how many times that has ruined situations and relationships and just partnerships and friendships and everything. Even in friendships, I mean, one person will be jealous of another friend. Oh, he pays more attention to her than me or whatever. Jealousness, like the Bible says, and I agree with it, although I'm not a Christian, is rottenness to the bones, believe me. You don't want to have that enter into the picture because it just throws a wrench into the whole thing. And it, it has to do with trust. How can you trust somebody? And So again, you know, that's kind of where this, the free spirit thing comes in again because really friendship or not relationship or not romantic or not we do not own that person that's why I'm kind of the word relationship in a way bothers me and marriage in a way bothers me because as soon as you get into those two concepts relationship well you know a lot of people may, you know you see it on Facebook I'm in a relationship oh really does that mean that you can't talk to other people or what about if you run into somebody that you know is your twin soul and that other person that you've been living with is really a hard person to get along with but this one is like wow he's spiritually on my level I don't think people should even you know use that term I mean 
But see, I, I, I think outside the envelope. That's a pilot's term. I mean, I'm way outside the envelope. I can see loyalty, and I can see sticking with somebody. If that's your twin soul, your person that you're hooked up with, and you know, you, you know, I mean, in your heart that you're not going to find anybody that's more compatible with you than that. But that's a rough one. You don't really find that too often. So why limit yourself? But always be truthful. I mean, never, you know, I, I'm not suggesting that you go out and be with somebody else when you're in a so-called quote-unquote relationship. It's always better to be truthful with somebody and out front about it. And see, that just shows you what a total free spirit I am. And it's an unencumbering <laughs> to be that way, trust me. Um, it breaks a lot of rules and a lot of limitations. But again, I don't believe in rules and limitations. So, But getting back to the core of the issue here, and I don't want to get off on a tangent here, relationships, trust, love, uh, no jealousy, no manipulation, starting from the spiritual and working on down to the physical. And that's not to mean to say that I'm against people having erotic relationships or one night stands or whatever you want, as long as you know what it is. If you know it to be, that's what I'm not judgmental. If that's what, you know, if you're having a a short erotic relationship or a short erotic meeting, well then that's what it is and you realize it for what it is. Something grows out of that, well fine, you know, but that's not a long term or a, I don't even want to use that term long term. Uh, that's not a bonded solid thing. Not really. So wow, I guess, man, I'm covering a lot of ground here. Again, these are just thoughts for consideration, thoughts that come up to me, and you may not agree with them, and I don't expect you to agree with them, because again, that would, wouldn't that be manipulation, or no, or it would be my, enforcing my point of view, and see, that's just something I don't do, I'm just throwing thoughts out there for consideration, but remember that free spirit status? So many people try to be dependent on others and, and codependency and, you know, they just, they think that they just are not, they can't be whole without that other person. Well, maybe, you know, after a while when you get to that point where you're like a twin soul or a soulmate, and I could talk about what that really is too, but that's for another time. So anyway... Um, think about the things here about relationships and remember forgiveness is always in order and just because you leave somebody doesn't mean you have to hate them you always love them you just and you might even get angry but anger is okay as long as you let it out you know some people think oh it's wrong to get angry no it's not wrong to get angry it's wrong to hold in anger so anyway did I cover everything here <laughs> Um, probably not, but I tried. Anyway, maybe I will do a second version of this or a part two. If I do, I'll name this Relationships Part One or whatever. If not, you know, like I say, I may just decide to let it go with this. Or I may not publish this video at all. I might just look at it for myself. <laughs> anyway... Love all you people. Check out my link to spiritofcrazyhorse.com, which has my books, Listen to the Wind, Speak from the Heart, Emergence. Has a place for donations. I really would appreciate some donations once in a while. Just five, ten bucks, whatever you can afford. Helps me pay for the internet and all the other stuff I got to pay for. So I know you're all hard working out there. And this is my work, so if you consider that it's helped you, then I would appreciate a donation. So I guess I'll leave it at that, and I'm out of here. Love you all. Blessings to you all, and later on. <laughs>